Good evening and welcome back to Resident Evil 4. On to a new episode today. You watched the last video, we've just finished off the two giants, killed them off, and we're going to go into the next section where there's some not so friendly insects around. I was trying to min max my ammo in the last one, then I realised I've got these bugs coming up and you do kind of need your shotgun and your TMP for this one. And what we're also going to do is, you can see our health, I am going to use the air. Uh, the health to increase my maximum as well and I think we'll start with a shotgun and you'll see why in a moment see these guys, oh dear and maybe we want to sort of backtrack a little bit and take a couple of pops just to get these guys interested hopefully and the strike is great for this because it's very good at well, it's got at short range if you uh, if you aim properly. And also when you increase the power and things like that as well. Come on. Normally in this section I don't worry about ammo too much because... Oh god, you can hear them because I'm getting distracted. Do you get a fair bit of ammo and these guys, if they get on top of you, a whole bunch of them, uh, you know, they can cause a little bit of chaos. The good thing is, I think I mentioned in the first couple of videos, lots of audio cues, which is really good in the game. So I want to come along here, hit this button. And as you can hear straight away, if you heard it, you can hear the wings flapping again. Because there'll be some... You want to try and get as close to the entrance. Well, the narrow bit of the entrance as you can. Sort of cord them off almost. Come on. And there's another one. I do think TMP and shotgun are great for this. You probably want to use the TMP when you're out in the open. Might as well head this way. Okay, and just keep your ears open. Ah. I see what he hits. Oh no. Twitched a little bit there on the controller. And you guessed it, pretty much the same as last time. Although I can't hear them. So you can take a few out in a row there. And the shotgun when you first get it, get it isn't... You can see it's not awfully that powerful unless it's really close up. But it does get better as you upgrade it. And as it gets quicker at firing and the power increases, it is a beast of a shotgun. I think overall the... Is it the combat shotgun? That probably is the most powerful, just for a single shot, for example. Try and pit this guy if I can. There we go. And I think we're just going to make a dash for it over here. But after experimenting with both guns, upgrade both of them to full over many different games, I still think the, uh, the Strike is the best one long run. When you fully upgraded it with the that final upgrade is... Uh, Brilliant for the amount of rounds that it holds. It also takes up less space, which is great. And because it holds loads of ammo, eventually. Oops, we need to hit this button. Don't forget that, otherwise, we will get crushed. Yeah, but because the striker holds plenty of ammo, I'm pretty sure it's 100 when you've got it fully maxed out with the special upgrade and everything it's almost like yes the shotgun's smaller but it also holds so much more ammo that um, it, it frees up a lot of spot 
spots because eventually you know you get those 300 shells but eventually you're going to use them and every time you get shotgun ammo you can pretty much just reload it into the gun and it frees up loads of space it's great and we're back up here and there's the merchant so what we'll do is uh give it a quick save see if there's anything to buy as well what i've done is we'll put the second jewel into the uh the crown now that's the salazar family crown that's complete we also had some purple eyes we've put these in both the butterfly lamps we had they're both full and we've also got 17 green eyes spare so we'll probably sell maybe about 14 or 15 of them just to to make that money keep some spare in case we find another butterfly lamp but look at that money now we've got nearly 300 grand what we'll do is we will increase the firepower and the capacity of the red nine which we've been waiting for the striker will increase that we'll also increase the capacity we'll leave the second capacity increase the rifle capacity because we left that at zero i believe it was and the firepower thank you TMP as well might as well upgrade that because we yeah we're down 100 I'm happy to not run that right down I'm happy with gaining 100 but if one I'm in max we would leave that until you know you've got well preferably zero but run it right down sort of into the tens or twenties is that all stranger? but we're just going to take it <laughs> thank you so yeah next stage we're going to head along here just need to keep an eye out for um jewels and I'm sure there's one up top somewhere but also watch out for pretty sure there's an enemy yeah what do we want to do with him i think maybe we just take him out with a sniper to be honest <laughs> got a bit got a bit of a fry there now I'm pretty sure that's it for now before we get to the next bit. Now what we're going to do is climb up here. And as you'll see there's a group of enemies. Now have we got any grenades? We've got an incendiary. Yeah. Yeah, I managed to get a few of them at least. Whoa. Yeah, they got me. I think that's it. Now what you want to do is just head over there. I wasn't sure if there'd be a snake in that one, couldn't remember. And then we can open up this hatch to get to the next stage. I haven't checked the other door, but I know if you go check the other door, it's locked. So you have to go through this way. And uh, got some interesting sections coming up. Okay, so this bit is... Um, I quite like this bit. You've got this sort of not exactly a maze or anything, but a little bit of a thing you've got to navigate through. You've got traps on the floor, a few infected, and uh, you've also got this top bit here. This the chainsaw guy. I kind of want to just uh, get these guys to come towards me. They well clear because they, they can have quite a range in one of their attacks. So it's all right. There's no one behind us. Just double checking. And uh, we'll see if we can headshot them. There we go. Fairly straightforward. Now hopefully this guy will try and breathe fire on us. And he does. So it's an easy kill. Hey, well I said an easy kill. And uh, 
one shot in the head. Yeah, there we go. And you've just got to be very careful to watch your surroundings, like here. But you do want to make sure you come around this way. Because there's a bit down here. And you get the Staff of Royalty, which is good. Now, what I want to do probably is... Okay, and just make sure there's no one around. Shouldn't be. There you go. Now I'm going to head in the bottom way for now. You can go the top way. So they're going to try and head up here, but they're also going to head in, potentially, through the stairs as well. That's good. We've got a another yellow herb, so we'll make sure, just to save space, we'll add this into here. Kind of probably want to let them just come in. Shotgun. Now, because there's two with heads there and we've got three flash grenades, we're just going to throw one of these now. And that will kill two of those. Now, it's gone silent, but I'm pretty sure that they're still there. Yeah, I was going to say. Whoa. Just managed to shoot that one out of the air. There's a bit of a waste of bullets there, I could have done that better, but um, again, like I've said before, the most important thing is keeping your health rather than anything else. Oh, another red herb, nice. Jesus, I hate these things. Uh, yeah, I hate those. Now, normally I think on the other difficulties, this comes down. I don't know why it hasn't. Some nice uh, gold in there. And I think this is the minecart section. Coming up. I'm not the biggest fan of... I, I, I like the main part. I'm not so keen on the... The end, which has got a quick time event. Yeah, this is it. Now, what you want to do here is you probably want to get all your weapons reloaded, just to make sure you've got them ready. I would say the most two most important weapons are your shotgun and your TMP. They're really useful. And what you do is you shoot this, and if you can, just shoot these guys down before they even get a chance to. That's great. That's alright. Yeah, if you can shoot them down before they even get a chance to jump in the uh, the cards. Just makes things a little bit easier. If I want to, I can... I'm not going to take the risk going for that one. Let's just head back. I like being at the back. For now, at least. And now and again, I think there's two sections where you get this wooden pallet in the way, so you obviously don't want to uh, miss that one. It's a shotgun time. Go 
good stuff. We'll head back to the TMP. Again, probably not worry too much about the the money for now. I think it does despawn after a while. I'm sure there's another pallet uh, coming up yet. Here it is. Chainsaw guy. I think it was, wasn't it? So, do we want to reload? No, I don't think we do. The shotgun I meant. This is the quick time event you've got to get ready for. <sighs> Did okay on that time. I can't remember which version of the game I was playing once, but there was one one time where I was really struggling with that last section. And obviously if you die there, I think you restart the whole thing, which is pretty annoying. So we're back up top now, so just make sure you get any sort of outstanding items on the ground. And then we're going to head over here and get through the door for the next section. And so this next part is, uh, well, first of all, I think you've got to come down to the bottom. Yeah. And basically try and escape. And you see the enemy appears and blocks off your path. This way first. start jumping over which is fine just gotta watch these stairs as well air ladder rather that was stupid Gotta watch out because there are some um, crossbow guys at some point.
get smash again. God damn it. I knew there was a uh, crossbow guy at some point. Should be the last of them, I think, completely. I say that like any more noises, so let's just have a look. I think there might be some more crossbow. No, it's not crossbow guys. Let's see if we can pick them off with sniper rifle. That's pretty decent. That's a crossbow guy. And then what you want to do is come on the back of here. Don't forget to get any items. There's nothing in that. And switch the last switch. And so what you want to do now is, sure, just a simple exit. No, it's not. Keep tapping, get ready for the uh, things, and then this bit you've got to shoot the lock. You can knife it if you want to, but then there's another quick time event, just got to get ready for this as well. And there we go. Whew. Nicely done. that's about to begin at this tower shall endow the girl with magnificent power. She will join us, become one of us. This is no ritual, it's terrorism. Isn't that a popular word these days? Not to worry, we've prepared a special ritual for you. Okay, so, probably gonna, well, we will need the shotgun, and um, we're gonna need the TMP, so let's get a few reloads on, might leave the, uh, the red nine for now. Some people you can shoot from a distance. Gotta be careful with those bowels. You can see here, there's one there. There's one there. do is not do that
Now you will will be wanting to get onto this elevator lift. But you just want to make sure that you get uh, everything you can for now. Now what you have to do before you move off is push these uh, boxes off. And that means we can now move. I think you want to get the shotgun for this part. Now you've got to watch your surroundings as well because enemies will start jumping on the lift but there's also some on balconies and things like that as well I believe. Go. So, shotgun's great for this. So, again, just be a bit patient, just let them come to you or go in like that for the kill. And again, just keep an eye out, wait for them to drop. Just simply because I'm hoping that we'll have a merchant soon. merchant what we want to do is uh, upgrade the uh, capacity for the weapons so there we go that's that's pretty much it drop down here there we go there's a bangle there we go we can just uh, get in this lift now And there must have been a few enemies that we didn't manage to kill, which is totally fine. But yeah, you've got to save, lots of ammo, first aid spray, that normally means danger, and it definitely is. So I'm going to increase the capacity for the Red Knight, which is good. For the Striker too. And that's all we can do for now. We have moved a few things around, we've sold a couple of items, just a, a little bit of ammo just to make some space for the rocket launcher which we've bought. So it's fairly costly but I think it's worth it for the, uh, the next section. Guess after this, there'll be one less to worry about. I want you to suffer just like I do. 
Now what you want to do is quickly get the rocket launcher. And that's it. Shoot the eye, it opens up, and then you come with a rocket launcher. Now, that looks very easy, and I got it right first time there with no issues, but that can be really difficult. Um, that's why I think the rocket launcher is worth it, because otherwise, you're in a, that constant battle of shooting the eyes, waiting for it to open, get a few shots off, closes again, and um, his tentacles are pretty lethal. So what we're going to do is just collect all of the items. There are some on the floor as well. Don't forget to get his, uh, his money over there. I've forgotten how much it is. I think it might be about 30,000, but yeah, we'll join up after that. By the way, it was 50,000 that we had. From the boss there. Snake, missed the snake. The one time I forget to wear. Now, is it worth trying to shoot us? Yeah, get an egg. Sometimes you can get lucky and get, an, get a golden egg, which is worth selling. And we're back into the safety of the merchant. And we're back in the merchant, some ex exciting purchases. You can see here, Red 9, we've got the exclusive available. You can see on the left there that we've maxed out all of the other stats and some weapons. Once you do that, you do unlock an exclusive upgrade, which is normally pretty expensive, but very much worth it. So this increases the firepower. You can see it's currently 3.7. We'll buy the exclusive. It goes up to 6.5, and that is massive, um, especially the rate it can fire. We've also got one for, uh, let me have a look, for the TMP, I believe. Yeah, so we're going to increase the capacity for this. And we now have an exclusive for this too. So, do we want to buy this straight away? Yes, I think we do. So that's, that fire pair goes from 1.2 to 1.8. Doesn't sound a lot, but it really is with the speed, the capacity of the TMP you can kill a number of enemies very quickly with this and you can see we've got some more upgrades for the likes of the striker which we've just upgraded the capacity so we'll definitely leave that uh, probably want to upgrade the firepower on that one next and um, but you can see we've run out of money so although i've been selling a lot of things i've been getting a lot of jewels etc look like i had loads of money at one stage once you start getting those exclusives that are coming around that money soon disappears Need a ride, handsome? <laughs> okay. Got some business to take care of. See you later. to break it out to you, but Salazar is dead. Yes, it seems that way. Sadler, why don't you give up and let Ashley go home? Perhaps you are disillusioned with overconfidence, just because you killed my small-time subordinate. Sadler, you're small-time. Oh. <laughs> Rive in my cage of torment, my friend. So we're now on the island, one of the more interesting parts, I would say, on this game. Got some new enemies on the hunt for Ashley, see if we can find her. And can we potentially find a cure for ourselves too? So I hope you did enjoy this episode. If you did, please leave a like, comment down below. Think about subscribing as well if you can. I have pre-ordered Resident Evil 4 Remake. Finally got around to doing that. I'm recording on the 4th of February today, but I think by the time this video comes out, it's probably going to be the beginning of March, I think. And that's the same month that the remake comes out. Whether I'll do a full playthrough on the channel for the remake, I think I will at some point, just not sure when that will be. Got some interesting ideas for other games as well, so it's just trying to find a balance 
and obviously the usual PES 2021 is my normal sort of daily video when I'm not uh, uploading these sort of longer playthroughs. But yeah, I hope you can join me for the next episode. Getting towards the end of the game now, still a fair bit to go, but um, really, really enjoying this replay again. I love this game so much, and I hope you guys, if you haven't played it before, you do go and give it a try. But I'll speak to you all soon. Cheers.